What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I got out of a double feature, and I'm going to tell you what I saw. First, I saw Delivery Man, and then I saw Hunger Games Catching Fire. Check out my Catching Fire review, which will be uploaded right after this will be uploaded. Let's get to Delivery Man first. Uh, it's actually a remake of a 2011 French-Canadian film, and it's actually... Uh, was rewritten for American audiences and by the same director. It's kind of cool. Uh, basically, Vince Vaughn's character is kind of a schlub. He has uh, made a lifetime of bad decisions, uh, but he's a good, earnest guy in the end. He He's trying to, you know, pay his debts off, but he's not really working too hard to do it. Uh, he ha he's 80 grand in debt. He is one of three sons in this uh, meat deli uh, popular restaurant in uh, in New York. But he's the slowest delivery driver you've ever seen. He's got a girlfriend who he really doesn't see himself taking it to the next level. He actually finds out that in the beginning of the film that he's actually uh, going to be a dad with her. And he's this is blowing his mind and he's trying to figure out if he can actually do this. At the same time, he gets a summons. Well, he's ignored summonses from this, uh, from this lawyer representing this fertility bank that he made several donations for from back in the day and by several I mean over 600 donations uh, like 18 years earlier uh, basically he donated his uh, sperm and 633 or 634 times and he has over 533 children 140 some odd of those kids want to know who their dad is so he's got to juggle this huge secret that he's actually the father of over 500 children He's got to balance his relationship with his girlfriend, and he's got to get out of debt, and he's got to try and keep the family business going without, you know, uh, embarrassing his family and all that jazz. Surprisingly enough, I thought this movie had a lot of heart. It was fun. There was some good drama to it in the end. Uh, I was not expecting it, uh, for sure. I thought it was just going to be a silly slapstick comedy, but I, I enjoyed it. You know, it, it's far-fetched as all heck, but, I mean, there's people that have over 100 kids. You know, there's some crazy guys that have done that. You know, it can happen. Um, I think the explanation with the doctor, I don't want to spoil too much, but the explanation I think is pretty good. There's like a core group of 10 kids, in case you're wondering. It's not like he gets to know you know, all 500 kids immediately, but he kind of becomes this guardian angel kind of, and there's 10 core kids that uh, you get to know more. Uh, I wish there was more of a development with them, but there wasn't, unfortunately. Uh, I, I did enjoy the movie. I would recommend it. I thought it was fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this movie. Uh, check out my other movie reviews. Like I said, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Catching Fire next, so check that one out as well. Y'all have a great day.